Let's talk about the connective called the conjunction. Uh, and sometimes we'll just call this and. Now, in English, a conjunction is used to join any two thoughts or ideas together. For us, it'll just be when we join two thoughts or together with this idea of and, with this idea that we're trying to say both of the things are true. Uh, if I want to symbolize this, well, I always need two statements to put together. So, so let's say P, this symbol, Q. I'm going to read this P and Q to let people know I'm talking about the conjunction. And then finally, some words that mean conjunction. R and, okay, that's the most common one, but is used to mean and, both of these things. Uh, nevertheless, yet, still, okay, words that mean this thing and also that thing all mean conjunction, all mean and. Uh, let's look at a couple examples of symbolizing. Let's let P be the statement it is after 9 p.m. and Q be the statement Tim is at work. If I want to symbolize it is after 9 p.m. and Tim is at work, I just need to break this down. It is after 9 p.m. is my statement P. Tim is at work is the statement Q. This has an and in the middle, so I'm going to use an and. So it is after 9 p.m. and Tim is at work is P and Q. Okay, pretty nice, pretty straightforward. Okay, let's look at this one. How about it is not after 9 p.m., but Tim is at work. Okay, again, let's start out here. Let's see, it is not after 9 p.m. is a statement not P, right? I would symbolize that not P because... It's the negation of that statement, P. Uh, Tim is at work is still just the statement, Q. And then in the middle here, I've got but. But means the same thing as and. I'm saying that both of these things are true. I have maybe a little different implication uh, when I hear the English statement, when I use but instead of and. But I'm still making the same statement, right? It is not after 9 p.m., but Tim is at work logically means the same thing as it is not after 9 p.m. and Tim is at work. So now I've got this. This starts with not P and Q. Notice that not P, uh, this negation here, doesn't need parentheses or anything. Negations are actually stronger than uh, conjunctions, so I don't need another set of parentheses or any parentheses here. When I see not P and Q, I know that the negation is just on this P, and then I'm going to take that and and it together with whatever Q is. All right. Here's uh, one more. I've got the same P as it is after 9 p.m. Q is Tim is at work. And my statement this time is Tim is not at work. Okay, Tim is not at work. So this is the negation of Tim is at work. So this is not Q. Yet means and. It is after 9 p.m. is the statement P. So this would be symbolized not Q and P. Uh, it's tempting to write this as P and not Q, just because we said, hey, P was first, P is first alphabetically, P is the first thing I know. Uh, and technically, that's equivalent to what we have written down. But if I'm going to symbolize this statement, I should write these things in this order. Okay, In that statement, not Q is first. Then I have my and, my conjunction, uh, being represented by yet. 
and then it is after 9 p.m. or p comes second. So I should write that as not q and p.